everyone, welcome to this week's Stout Advice. My name is Logan Stout, and the word for this week is confidence. Now, confidence is without question one of the most important keys to success. I know it's one of the most important keys for my success. Um, and it's in my book, and, and I highly recommend you read that, that portion of the book if you haven't. But confidence is so extremely important because I can tell you this. You show me somebody that's done something in life that, that's huge, that's that instrumental, they're a confident human being. It may be a silent confidence. It may be a little more louder, boisterous confidence, maybe even flirting with arrogant. But, but you have to be confident to be able to do great things in life because here's the deal. To do great things in life, you're going to have to overcome adversity. You're going to have to overcome all the negatives. You're going to have to overcome the naysayers. And it takes confidence to keep going. I know for me, my wife and I always, uh, we sort of laugh because when I was a little kid, I wasn't that confident. I was very, um, very shy and, and reserved and quiet. And people that know me today go, you're kidding me. There's, there's no way that's even possible. And they say, well, what was the change? And my wife, who I've known since seventh grade, she can tell you I'm totally different than I was then. The change was this. I learned who I was. I learned who I truly was. I learned what I was put on this earth to do. Um, I, I understood my maker. I understood uh, my role in this, in this world. And it's amazing when you understand who God created you to be. Not who the world wants you to be, but who God created you to be. You know that you were designed for a purpose. You'll have this confidence overcome you that words can't even express. It's a, it's a real confidence. It's not a fake one. I'll give you an example. In sports, and I know I reference sports all the time, that's just my background. In sports, I laugh when you see these teams start rah rah right? Like, you know, like they're pumping themselves up. I'm sitting there going, what are they doing? I mean, what, what are they doing? You look at the greatest athletes in the world, they didn't have to pump themselves up like that. Now, now there's some exceptions, but Cal Ripken Jr., I mean, that guy didn't have to be all rah rah. No, he just went out and just played the game, broke records. Nolan Ryan. He didn't go rah-rah. He just went out there and struck people out, threw perfect games, threw no hitters. He just got the job done. He was confident in who he was as a human being. You know, it's, it's funny to me in sports how people have to hype themselves up. It's this artificial confidence. The confidence I'm talking about is a real confidence where you know where you're going, you know what your purpose is, you know what you're destined to do on this earth. That confidence can only come from self-exploration. It can only come from personal development. It can only come from looking in and growing from the inside out. Taking away what the world wants you to be and knowing who you were put on this earth to be. Action item number one, analyze your life. Analyze yourself. Where are you confident? Where are you not so confident? It's interesting to me how people are very confident with their family, but then in other, other environments, they're a different person. They're reserved. Why is that? You should be the same everywhere. It's usually a lack of confidence, right? It's usually a, a different self-image in that particular environment or situation. A true confidence is you know who you are and where you're going no matter what the environment is, right? So action item number one is that. Action item, action item number two is I want you to ask yourself, what is my game plan for personal development so I can truly, if you're bought in on what I'm telling you, so I can truly become the confident individual 24-7 no matter where I am in the world that God wants me to be. Folks, God desires you to be confident because when you're confident, you enjoy life. Life's a lot more fun because you know who you are, you're comfortable in your own skin, and you're comfortable in just about any environment in the world. I hope uh, this, this lesson today on confidence helps you. Thank you for joining us this week on Stat Advice.